Hey guys, what's going on? Thank you so much for watching today and welcome to another very quick screenshot overview of our water buffalo. Today we got a brand new screenshot, which isn't this one. I wanted to throw this one up here just in case you missed it. This is the one we got on launch day or not launch day, um, reveal day when they revealed the, the wetlands pack trailer for us. And we have two little water buffalo here, one kind of drinking water and one uh, on the shore. This one is standing on uh, like a mossy rock or so. So I actually don't know how deep this water is. That was my first thought. Cause if we're supposed to be doing wetlands and getting that new terrace brush to make really shallow water, I wanted to know how deep this water was to see if that's what it was going to look like. But we'll take a look at that in the next screenshot. In this one, the only thing I see is that the water buffaloes are seem to be slightly different colors. So this one a little bit lighter and grayer, this one a little bit darker, more on the brown black side. Um, so cool to see variants in their fur coming to them as well. But let's go ahead and jump over to the new screenshot. This is the screenshot that we saw this morning. So this is the one that Frontier just put on Twitter. We get a glimpse at a lot of water buffalo. We get one, two, three, four, five, and then two baby water buffalo. All these water buffalo, I mean, maybe these ones look a little bit darker in comparison to these three, but again, I don't know if it's the lighting. Um, well, actually, you know what? Their legs look a little bit more gray and light down here versus this one goes into brown. So I think the color variant is very, very subtle, but there nonetheless, which is pretty cool to see. We got some adorable little babies down here, uh, sitting in the grass and out in the water. And if we take a look at this screenshot here and zoom in on this one's feet, we can see that it looks like my guess is, is that this water was created using the new terrace brush because look at how shallow that water is. It only comes up a few inches above the water buffalo's uh, hoof. And that makes me feel like this was created using the new terrace brush that's coming in 1.9 with the wetlands pack on April 12th. And I think it looks awesome. Look at how shallow we can create water. Um, previously, I believe like water had to be like one meter deep or something like that. There was a certain, uh, there's certain elevation markers that you had to hit in order to put water in there and they only filled at certain heights and we could not get this shallow of water in, uh, in game. So this is really, really cool. The other thing that I wanted to notice uh, or point out is that I think, correct me if I'm wrong, right back over here, I think I'm seeing mist. I think I'm seeing mist right above the water. See how the grass goes in and then the grass gets kind of fuzzied and grayed out right here. I feel like that is the mist effect. And without getting uh, over there and actually seeing how they did it, this might be the mist that we're talking about with the new water effects. So in 1.9, if you're unaware, you can click on the water and you can add add bubbles and mist directly by clicking on the water and going into the water menu. So this I think is that new VFX. We saw in the last screenshot with the red crowned crane, they added mist, but they added it with the actual VFX that we already had. So we didn't actually see the new way to do it. And I, I feel like this is the new way to do it. Correct me if I'm wrong. So now what I wanted to do is talk a little bit about our water buffalo, give you guys some information on them and maybe some ideas on the types of habitats you're going to be building for them. The water buffalo or Asian buffalo, as it's often called, is the largest member of the bovine tribe, which includes yak, bison, African buffalo, and various species of wild cattle and others. Standing five to six feet tall at the shoulder, wild water buffalo are formidable mammals with sparse gray black coats. Males carry enormous backward curving crescent shaped horns stretching close to five feet long with deep ridges on their surface. Females are smaller in size and weight, but they also have horns. Water buffalo spend much of their day submerged in the muddy waters of Asia's tropical and subtropical forests. Their wide splayed hooved feet prevent them from sinking too deeply in the mud and allow them to move about in the wetlands and swamplands. These marshes provide a good cover and rich aquatic plants to forage on, although water buffalo actually prefer to feed in grasslands on grass and herbs. Water buffalo have been domesticated for more than 5,000 years. They have helped humanity 
survival with their meat, horns, hide, milk, butterfat, and power plowing and transporting people and crops. Wild water buffalo are at risk and really only live in small numbers of protected areas stretching across India, Nepal, and a wildlife reserve in Thailand. So there you go, another hoofstock species for our roster. Habitats for these guys are probably gonna be like open grasslands and of course marshy areas like they're showing here. They obviously love water, so I would imagine that you would provide them some water to get in and wade around in in their habitats. As far as other animals that they could live with, I imagine it would be totally appropriate to put the red crowned crane in with them, maybe even some flamingos, some animals that'll kind of mingle around and not bother them too, too much much. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm very excited for the water buffalo, although probably not my top, top favorite. Still very excited to have them included on the roster. Which animal do you think we'll see next and which animal are you most excited for? Until then, I will talk at you guys in the next video. Bye!